Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to share a pretty straightforward Eddie Van Halen lick. This one. And uh, a lot of times what Eddie does is he picks out symmetrical patterns, which makes it easy if you're starting out or if you just want to get something fast sounding going. Uh, he uses this in the intro to Hot for Teacher. And what he's the notes that he's using is 12th fret all the way down, nice and easy. And then this pattern right here on every string. And what he does is, uh, in the Hot for Teacher intro, he does... And he just does it really fast. Um, so, and he uses A a lot, so this is kind of based around the A minor scale. And uh, so that's one more time really slow. You hammer on first at the fifth fret, and then at the eighth, and the twelfth, and then it's all pluck off, pluck off, pluck off, and then. All the way down like that. And one key to making it sound smooth to get rid of the string sound is I use the palm of my hand to mute the lower strings that I'm not playing on. So I kind of rest it here on the strings to stop that string noise. So when I'm going down, you don't hear the other strings ringing out as much. Here's another easy one that um, Eddie uses at the 12th fret. It's just the pentatonic scale pattern with the hammer on here at the 12th fret on the A. So he's just doing the basically the blues scale. And the trick to a lot of Eddie's riffs that people don't realize is the feel. A lot of guys get the note right, but Eddie's got so much swing to his, his feel. His dad was a jazz clarinetist, and uh, I think he probably picked it up because his dad used to rehearse in the basement all day. So he probably picked up that feel. So even if you get the notes right, that's still not the right feel. It's got to be ba da ba doo ba da ba da ba like some old jazzy thing. ba da ba doo ba da ba da ba it's that swing is like a whole other lesson, but if you get the concept, you can look it up and see the difference between straight feel and swing feel, and then apply that to um, to Eddie solos. It's got that bounce to it, which makes it really cool. So um, there's a couple little Eddie riffs for you. Um, you can move these patterns around, like you can move it up to the E, or you keep it on the A, it does it on the A a lot. And uh, yeah, turbocharged A minor scale. I'm using the uh, Dr. J Arsenal pedal to get the tone right here, and uh, this thing gets some pretty mean tones. Let's see if I can get this chord isn't quite long enough. Yeah, it gets a nice Marshall sounding tone with the the pre and the distortions. This is the setting that I like to use right here to get this sound. I'm gonna riff out on it for a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. All right, here's one more bonus lick. Ready? <laughs> So A minor scale, um, you might think of a lick like you know, old blues lick or so Eddie will do the same thing, but for the high note he'll tap it. So if I'm bending up the whole step, then whatever note I tap here is gonna be on the twelfth fret is gonna be up a whole step also. So to hit the A. I'm gonna tap on the G, so.
So the notes would be the same as. What you can hear is a total blues line. You hear that in uh, the beginning of Take Your Whiskey Home. Cool. Thanks for watching again. See ya.